I'm in the Russian River Valley today, a relatively new wine growing region that has become known for producing premium cool climate wines. We'll learn more about it from Elizabeth Grant Douglas, the winemaker for the preeminent producers in California, La Crema Wines. Elizabeth will tell us how their popular Chardonnays and Pinot Noirs are made and we'll find out what makes the Russian River Valley so special. We're here right in the heart of the Russian River Valley, but maybe we could talk a little bit about why it's such a unique AVA in Sonoma County. Um, here in the Russian River, what happens every evening is the fog rolls in, it blankets the vineyards and cools things down, but then every day, right around this time, the sun comes out and we end up with those warm, sunny, perfect days that give us the tannin maturity and the beautiful fruit flavors that we're looking for. You specialize in two very uh, well-known grapes. Chardonnay and Pinot Noir are our big focus. Those are two grapes that flourish in these very cool climate regions. The Willamette Valley in Oregon, uh, Monterey, and the Russian River Sonoma Coast regions. So if, I'm, if I go into a store and I see wines from Monterey, from Sonoma, Russian mm -hmm. River, even Willamette in Oregon, what would sort of the flavor spectrum be maybe in Pinot Noir? Well, in Pinot Noir, there's actually a very broad spectrum of flavors depending on which region you're in. For example, in the Sonoma Coast, Russian River region, we have a lot of spicy qualities, um, brambly fruit like blackberries and raspberries. When you move to Monterey, it's really more minerally. There's a black plum quality to it that I really love. Well, Emmett Valley, on the other hand, is even more savory. There's hints of the conifer forest, uh, cranberry, pomegranate. Hence the duck or the mushroom risotto exactly. or mm -hmm. so many different things pair well with it. We'd love to hear a little bit about La Crema Sonoma Coast Chardonnay. This is a wine that really has everything to do with showing respect for where the grapes are coming from and handling them very gently throughout the whole process. The idea isn't for the winemaker to be expressing themselves through this wine, it's for the region to be speaking. Uh, when you make this Chardonnay, what, so maybe tell us a little bit about what you have to choose from and how it shapes the flavors of the wine. Uh, for example, when we're putting together the blend for the Sonoma Coast, a lot of the different flavors we get from that broad region might include uh, bright, juicy Granny Smith apples, a little bit more exotic um, stone fruit, We've got some very pretty floral qualities as well, and all of those things go together to make a layered and complex wine. Do you feel more constricted like by a single vineyard? Is that a, a whole other ball game of putting a wine together when, when it's a single vineyard? Well, I would say that the difference between making a single vineyard wine and making a blend from a larger appellation is how many pieces of the puzzle you have to choose from. When we're making uh, the Sonoma Coast, there's so many different vineyards, different blocks, different clones. I can put something together that's extremely layered and very complex. Whereas when I'm putting together something from a single vineyard, that vineyard itself has to be exceptional. It has to have its own singular voice, something it wants to talk about. Well, we're here in uh, Sarah Lee's vineyard uh, in the Russian River Valley. It's going to be the new home of the winery. Well, we're actually so excited. We're going to finally be able to host people the way we've always wanted to, have them come here and experience the Russian River um, in all its finest. But they're also going to get a chance to try foods from the region paired with wines grown right here on the property. You're pretty happy. Oh, couldn't be happier. 